Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Susanna N and welcome back to another video. So it's a weekend, right? And um I hope you guys are doing well and yes, same here the weekend is just like any other normal day, you know. And um yes, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please what are you still waiting for? Subscribe, share, like, comment, also tell your friends to subscribe to the channel and um yeah. On the road to 1k subscribers so guys today's video i'm gonna be i'm gonna be talking about um, staying together in um, with a guy under one roof like what is it like what is like staying with a guy a boyfriend in one house okay that is what i'm going to talk today in this video so since it is my first time to stay with a guy under one roof in one house i mean so i'm going to tell you the little my experience what i've experienced there and um the bad and the good okay so i'm going to tell you um for me actually i didn't know that when you're staying with a guy you do um you do the all the things together and um, or you don't do things together so I did know something like that but to me I knew that staying together as um, two people in the house you do everything together when you're doing the other work and you also does the other work guess what it's not like that <laughs> let me tell you oh my god I don't know how I don't know how married women are actually catching up with their marriages ever since they got married from A to Z. I don't know how they're handling it because for me I feel like it's literally difficult. You know, as in I feel I I normally feel bad like I'm doing work and um one person is not doing work. He's just seated or is uh or one person is outside just busy doing other things out there and I'm the only one doing work. That thing really hurts me in, in the other side, but then here before 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 that I I said when I get married I will make sure my man should do their work like the way I do, but guess what? It's not like that. <laughs> so my experience now it is that I experienced that. Staying uh, with a guy in one house, that you're the one to make sure the house is clean, of course you cannot mop, okay, and uh, you need to cook, you're the one to cook, you're the one to wash clothes, you're the one to iron, you're the one to go out there and look for food and bring, of course he gives you the money, and then you're the one to go and buy the food and bring to the house, you're the one to make the decision like which food are we eating today uh -huh. you are the one to do that and then tomorrow also like that that is your work as a married woman actually me I didn't know but since I started staying with my boyfriend I have actually realized that and um, I feel like <laughs> it's somehow weird you know because I'm just new to that life I'm not that used to I'm just new to it I feel like sometimes it is it makes me go go crazy like thinking of the food we are going to eat today um because i'm used to like staying at home there whereby they just buy the food and cook what is there for that day and then the next day also like that unless you need you feel like eating something different and then you say actually today why don't we cook such and such a food and then that's when they can cook but now like staying with a guy in one house you're actually the one to make the decision or oh, say today we are eating this food since it's only you the two so unless he does not like that food that's when we can tell you i don't eat that food so we buy another food but without that you're the one to make decision for everyday food oh my god that thing really reminds me of staying at home whereby when you're staying at home you make um, a timetable like today is someone different cooking food tomorrow someone different the next day the next day like that 
it's not just one person daily like the way married women do which is so tiresome and then also you make sure in the morning you prepare you wake up early prepare tea and make sure he's dressed well or make sure when he's going to work he's actually dressed well and all sort of things so i'm seeing it very difficult for me to cash up but i hope i will cash up with time and uh, also like uh, another thing is remembering the other person like when it lays to come home you make sure you call that person and ask um is everything okay are you safe where you are you're still at work like where have you reached things like that just to make the inquiry whether it's okay it is really so stressing you need to do that as a housewife if you're married you do that to your husband because if you don't do that if you don't do that sometimes it brings corruption if he comes home or if anything happens to, to him he will say after all my wife does not care about me you don't care about me that's why such and such a thing happens to me oh my goodness and then another thing is um anything that is finished in the house or well, whether the food is done in the house well, you know like when you've done a shopping for monthly shopping and when it is finished you have to make sure you put the shopping down and then you give him and he gives you the money because if you don't remind him that the food is finished actually for him he thinks the food is there but maybe some some men are, are really you know you know active in the house like in terms of budgeting they normally shake the food in the house whether it's still there or it's it's finished you don't actually need to remind them because some of them can shake and then they you just they just give you the money <coughs> and then you go and shop the food oh another thing is um sickness when the other person is sick in the house or oh, you see the different mood of him you actually have to you know ask him why that mood or oh, or oh, why is he quiet or you know things like that so so that you can you actually confirm whether the person is okay or whether he has some stress you know giving him some some things giving him some stress so that you can find a way of helping each other in the house so like you two have to you know be connected in everything you're doing like you two have to be connected in the house as two people you just connect it your two hands because one person cannot work without the other one and if the other one is sick you have to help there if, if you also you are sick you can the other person can help you so wow you know like asking someone bigger than you like are you okay it's actually so weird but then <laughs> since you're staying with that person in the same house and it is your responsibility actually to do that you have to okay and then another thing is arguments sometimes in the house um maybe you uh, you guys have you know i've got some misunderstanding in the house so i actually have that temper whereby when i get hungry i just go high beyond even my mind and just shout or just do something crazy but then when i started staying with my boyfriend i don't know from nowhere i started being a calm person calm person so i started like when he's actually talking or if he comes back when he's he has his own stress or things like that i just i just keep quiet and then leave him to talk 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 and then if i reply to him i reply to him only once and then keep quiet pretend like just assume like i'm not listening to anything okay so it's also another thing so when you two people are staying in the house or you have some arguments things like that one person as to you know when one is high one has to be down okay um, you have to reduce your voice and make the other person talk to everything or maybe just keep quiet silence yourself and even don't say anything because 
if you two if you both go high and start shouting on top of your voices i don't think that that things will go well you guys will end up fighting you know harming yourselves so it is actually not necessary to for two people to shout in the house when you have an argument so it was another thing for me i was like oh my god oh my god i have that temper that that i don't control sometimes when it goes beyond me i just feel like giving someone a slap but from now i have something just i don't know something has just made me calm my mind just be okay so even me myself sometimes i normally wonder why how like how like how is this happening how did this happen is this really me oh i might be dreaming like i used to be crazy like okay so another thing for me when i have stress like when i'm left the workplace when i'm so tired and stressed i actually don't talk to him when i go home i just greet him of course a greeting always is obvious for me whether i'm annoyed with you or i'm not annoyed with you or whether i have my own stress or something like that i don't miss greeting the person that i stay with or the person that i'm with every day i just greet you and then keep quiet like that silence myself like that until you oh i just sleep oh until you wake me up and ask me what is the problem but with like that i will not tell you what's wrong i just don't like that and then um, the last one i think is the um, paying bills rent um electricity bill um water bills what i actually didn't didn't know that um to my mind um i had the i i knew that um as when you're staying with a man in one house is the one to pay all those bills like um, rent water bill electricity bill etc that is the one to pay all those bills i actually did not know that um, married women also contribute to the to the bills to the house bills i didn't know but when i started staying with my boyfriend it's when i realized everything because <clears throat> um even them even men sometimes like you realize that there's a lot of delays to come okay like maybe they get the, they get paid at the end of the month some people get paid at the end of the month some people get paid after the month has ended again on the next month that's when they get paid and you have to pay the rent and you have to pay all those bills in the house but then you find one person the other one's salary is late and you you've been pressured by the landlord by the bills and etc and you have to help each other okay you have to help each other you have to pay those bills and also next time he can pay or she can pay so i didn't know that is the work of two people in the house so by then now I'm, i have realized everything i feel like It is very hard I know it is just something easy that um that your work as a wife is just to keep your money and um do your own things and buy your own things but then no but then at the same time it's a good thing to to balance uh, the bills in the house like when the other person does not have you have to pay and next time when that person does not have when you have when you don't have that person is on to pay i think is just something good because this it is helping than just being mean and yet you people are staying in one place and using the same things um together so i think it's just the best thing to do and then what next like making plans planning together Well that one is a good idea like like when the other person goes wrong the other person has to bring the other person back together and say this and this was actually not good uh, next time don't do this 
and you know it's actually bad so that's what i what i have realized that married women really do a lot of work like mostly for those who have uh, kids who those guys do a lot of work guys you have to wake up in the morning prepare kids it's not the work of husband you have to prepare kids you have to take them to school you have to make sure their uniform is okay and clean the gosh it's really 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 hard work but then i think maybe with time i will catch up step by step i'll catch up and um but for now i'm not that complaining too much because it is just still something that i'm learning and uh yeah i hope one day i'll just make it and you know make it be perfect and all that so guys that's all i wanted to share with you like what is like staying with a boyfriend sometimes you know boyfriends don't do work hmm? they don't but they can buy food they can take you out they can buy for you clothes but then they don't actually do the housework and even cleaning the house it is not they will not do it at all okay anything they want they will tell you i want this like why is my such and such a cloth imagine the cloth is just there and he wants you to pick it for him guy that is that's actually so so weird so sometimes for me i just keep quiet and then after keeping quiet i'll just keep on looking at him and then you realize that something is wrong somewhere you can do it for himself so which is actually so weird and then um that is it that's all i wanted to share with you guys so please make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video comment do all the good stuff and on the road to 1k please this year so i'll see you on the next video have a good weekend bye